Hi there, it's Mandy Leahy from MyPassionForScrapbooking.com and I just wanted to do this quick video to share with you guys all the 3D boxes that you can cut using this Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge from Close to My Heart. Um, I've had a few people call or email asking how to put them together, so I'm just going to show you on the keypad what keys you push to get to the individual boxes. And I'll run through that real quickly. Um, I did want to mention that I only have two all decorated and ready to go. One of them I did a tutorial on the other day, and that is this cute little pillow box. Um, this one here is the French fry box, and I have that all ready to go. The others are plain cardstock. I will be decorating them, getting them all jazzed up in the next few days, and I'll do individual tutorials on them to show you how to put them together and just different ideas of what you can do over the next few weeks. So for now, I'm just going to run through and show you the boxes put together so you can check that out. First one here is the French fry box. Super duper cute. Um, there's tons of things that you can do with that. I just put um, some cards that I had made that were Halloween into a little Halloween. Um, I made this into a Halloween one. So the French fry box is on page 27. To get to that, you're going to hit the shift key and font layer. And the reason is, it's the image that's on the right, it's in the gray, so you'll hit the shift, and font layer is the feature key, and then you'll hit this image over here. So you'll find that on your keypad. It is the fourth one over on the right. So shift, font layer, and that image, and you'll be able to cut that. And you can choose the size you want. If you have an expression, imagine, or expression too, you'll be able to cut a great big one like this. Otherwise, um, you can do itty bitty ones that are still super cute and um, I did a medium sized one as well so super cute ideas you can put snacks in there um, little goodies hair bows cards you name it tons of ideas for that the next one I will show you is the pillow box which I did already um, put a tutorial up a few days ago on how I created this one in particular and to cut the pillow box you'll hit shift font layer and this one up here it's the third one from the right in the white keys and you'll create this cute little pillow box next I uh, will show you the heart shaped box and I made a great big giant one you can make little ones put little cookies in there or candy um, this will be perfect for Valentine's Day or anniversary or just because I so don't like showing a plain cardstock one, but I just wanted you guys to see so you know you know what you're getting with it. And it's on page 26. You'll hit shift font layer and this key up here with the heart. It is five over from the right. Next is the door hanger, and that is so cute. It's on page 25. It has a little space here so you can put little goodies. Um, you could also like close this shut, put some ribbon there or whatever if you don't want to make it a door hanger and decorate around it. It's cute for a little goodies, but also a door hanger with a little flap here. To get to that, you'll hit shift, font layer, and this one up here. It is one, two, three, four, five over from the left. Next is, I believe it is the takeout box. And this thing is super cute. It opens up. I don't have it all um, glued together yet. You can glue it together if you'd like or leave it like I did and it just secures up super cute and to get to that shift font layer and this one up here with the dragonfly it's the fourth one over from the left. Next is the cute little um, purse bag box. So many fun things you can do with this especially with Halloween coming up you can decorate it Halloween do a little um, candy in there if your you know kids need to bring stuff for school or a birthday goodie party favor you name it there's so many fun things you can do with this one that's on page 23 to get to that you'll hit shift font layer and this one up here it's a um, little starburst with the square and that's the third one over on the left next we have I'm not even sure what to call this but it is very very cute you just secure it with the ribbon and opens up and then the inside is secured as well. Perfect for chocolates or cookies or tons of ideas. To get to that one, it's uh, this one's on page 22. You hit shift, font layer, and this second one up here on the left, 
and that has a little snowflake and the oval. So super, super cute. And then the next 3D box, which is the last one, is, I'm, I have no idea what to call this, but it is perfect for cards if you want to, you know, do a, like, five cards in here with the envelopes and then you give it to someone as a gift or little note cards and envelopes, candy cookies, um, tons of fun things. But it just opens up. You can slide the ribbon off. I just added that and then they open up. There's four little circles that open up. And now that one is on page 21. Shift, font layer, and this first key up here on the left. Shift, font layer, and that key. And one thing I did want to point out is on page 29, which is after the pillow box one, I thought, oh, this is a cool little box. I didn't know what it was going to be, so I cut it out, and it's actually an envelope. So not only does this have all the three flowers and every shape you can imagine for scrapbooking and card making and all these three boxes, it also has envelopes that you can cut. So I just wanted to show that off because it comes right after the 3D boxes. And so if you're wondering, it's not a 3D box, but it is awesome little envelope. You can, you know, coordinate to the card that you're making or make white ones yourself so that, you know, it matches to the size card you need. Totally fun. Um, so there you have it. I just showed you all eight boxes that this cartridge makes. And like I said, I'll be doing individual tutorials, so be sure to check back. If you have any questions, please visit my blog, mypassionforscrapbooking.com. You can um, go to my contact page and send me an email or leave a message below my YouTube video and I'll definitely get back to you. Thanks so much for watching my video. And if you'd like to order this awesome must-have cartridge, visit my blog, mypassionforscrapbooking.com. I have a little Cricut button up at the top right side. You just click that and it'll take you to a page where you can order it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.